good evening. Thank you for joining us for an incredible celebration of accomplishment. We are honored to have all of you here with us this evening. Out of respect for the graduation ceremony and those near you, we ask that you please silence your cell phones and refrain from the use of noisemakers as they are prohibited. We want to show respect for each graduate and allow every family member to have the opportunity to hear their graduate's name called. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding regarding this request. At this time, would everyone please stand for the presentation of colors by our very own Army JROTC Color Guard, followed by the playing of our national anthem. Whatever it may be, 
And now we ask that you be with us as we honor the graduates of Heidi Travis High School 2019. And in all these things, we just simply ask your blessing, for it is all for your glory and honor. Amen. At this time, I would like to take the opportunity to recognize some of our distinguished guests who have joined us for our ceremony. Stage right, Mr. Don Hall, Vice Chairperson. Ms. Beth Burns. Ms. Cindy Falk Fontana. Mr. Kenneth Smith. Superintendent, Dr. Steve Hill. Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Charles Aiken. Chief Officer of Organizational Development. Dr. Todd Blumenberg. Chief Officer of Human Resources, Dr. Alfreda Moore. Director of Secondary Education, Dr. Alyssa Lee. Thank you for being here to honor our graduates. Next, I would like to ask the faculty and staff of Heidi Trask High School to please stand. Everyone knows, obviously, without saying, however, I cannot thank this group enough for the work that they've done to help prepare this group of students in front of us tonight, not only for this special occasion, but for the many endeavors to follow. Thank you, Ms. Aiken, for your wonderful introduction. As you heard, I'm Allison Buckner, and I am so honored to be Heidi Trask High School's salutatorian. This is probably the first time a lot of you have actually heard me speak, so I hope it's not too embarrassing, and I really hope I don't cry. This year, we learned a lot about how to deal with change. From Hurricane Florence, causing us to miss six weeks of school right at the beginning, to learning how to adjust to our new principal's ideas, and all of the personal issues that we dealt with outside of school, we've had lots of struggles. But here we are nonetheless. We found the motivation to do our best, at least most days, in order to make it this far. And I know that your families, teachers, friends, and myself are so proud of the class of 2019. I want to talk to you all today about embracing change. My senior year was nothing like what I expected it to be. Last year, I had a solid group of friends and lots of fun classes to share with them that I also enjoyed learning in. This year, many of my friends graduated, moved, or had a different lunch than me. This seemed like the worst thing ever because as a shy person, I really struggled to make new friends. However, I did it. 
with every new lunch schedule, I found new people to sit with, and I'm so glad that I got to meet them. They made me realize I'm not as bad at socializing as I thought I was. I just need to be more confident in what I want to say. As much as having a close friend or two that you can always depend on is important, I found that it is also beneficial to be able to make new friends and become comfortable talking to people you wouldn't normally talk to. It may make you a more well-rounded person, and you may make some new close friends in the process. I'm so glad I allowed myself to change and become more open to talking to new people. Throughout my many years of schooling, I've noticed that I've changed my time management and self-motivational skills for the better as well. Academically, high school has almost always been very easy for me. This isn't necessarily a good thing, because I very rarely studied, and now college will inevitably be much harder. However, compared to how much I procrastinated in middle school and how worried my mom was for me to go into high school versus how proud she is of me now, I know I can handle it. I guess high school has just been more fun for me than middle school, which I never would have expected to admit since I came from a very small K-8 charter school called K-3 Center for Inquiry, where I grew up and created amazing friendships and memories. Once I started school at Heidi Trask, I motivated myself through using my passion for creativity in every project that I could. I also really wanted that aesthetically pleasing transcript of straight A's, which I accomplished, except for that one B and AP language. I may not remember what semantic key means, but I can tell you all about the scarlet letter. My success in my academic and social life has resulted in me figuring out what I really want to do with my future. I've changed what my career goals are a few times since I started high school, and I expect my goals may change again in college. This brings to mind some very good advice that my grandmother, Barbara Brown, and other influential people in my life have given me. It is so important to know that you don't need to choose a single focus in life right now. You have a whole life to live, and you have the power to choose what to fill it with. You can change your major multiple times. You can go back to school if you want to continue learning, you can join the armed forces, or you can not do any of these things. If your goal is to work straight out of college, then that is what you can do, straight out of high school, then that is what you can do, and you can always change your mind if you want to later. Here's a quote said by the actress Jodie Foster that I believe helps describe this. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course as you believe you walk famously in the current. Wouldn't you know that your path is there all along, waiting for you to knock, waiting for you to become? This path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, your leaders, or your lovers. Your path is your character, defining itself more and more every day, like a photograph coming into focus. Throughout high school, all of us have changed greatly. Hopefully, this was for the better. But if not, we still have lots of time to improve. The experiences that shape us into the people we are meant to be never stop occurring and it is up to us to welcome those experiences and allow ourselves to change if necessary. I encourage you all to embrace change because it is the only thing that is truly permanent and constant in this world. Thank you to all of the teachers, parents, friends, and all of the other deeply influential and kind-hearted people who have shaped all of the class of 2019 into the successful young adults we are today. I am so excited to see where our many different paths will take us in this ever-changing world. Congratulations to all of us.
Tamika Jackson, Amaya King, Amaya King, Sophie Leonard, Alex Lopez Paz, Jimmy Lopez San Juan, Araceli Martinez Hernandez, Adolfo Mendoza, Rodolfo Mendoza, Amia McCoy, Eden Mills, Scarlett Neighbors, Tatiana Nixon, Jade Padgett, Luis Paz Martinez, Erica Perez Escalante, Vladimir Perez Perez, Kumanal Ramos, Matt Richardson, Haley Richardson, Hefte Rico Jimenez, Jose Rojas Cruz, Daisy San Juan Reyes, Clayton Smith, Tamika Sykes, Abraham Villacosto, Michael Walker, Foster Williamson. Please join me in congratulating our honor graduates. Engineers and even doctors. 
you decide the course you want your life to take. En todos estos años de educación, no nos enseñan a apreciarnos a nosotros mismos. Estamos en una rutina constante, completando tarea tras otra, y es fácil quedarse atrás. Pero la escuela secundaria no determina qué tan inteligente eres. La escuela secundaria te prepara para lo que podría ser. La escuela secundaria puede haber terminado, pero hoy es solo el comienzo. Tú decides el rumbo que deseas que tome tu vida. Unfortunately, there is no easy transition into adulthood. Everyone struggles to find their way about life. Today is one of the most important accomplishments of our young lives. However, there are many more accomplishments to come. You should be proud of your achievements and who you have become. Regardless of where you find yourself next year, know that you are much more than a grade. You have not completed an education for a job that required them. As quoted by author J.D. Vance in a memoir, your generation will make a living. It's living with their minds and not their hands. So think of a good life and believe you can create it. I believe in all of you and I wish you all the very best. Desafortunadamente no hay una transición fácil hacia la edad adulta. Todos luchan por encontrar el camino en la vida. Sin embargo, hoy es uno de los logros más importantes de nuestras vidas. Y hay muchos más por venir. Deben estar orgullosos de sus logros y en quienes se han convertido. Independientemente de dónde se encuentren en el próximo año, sepan que son mucho más que una calificación. Sepan que no han completado una educación para un trabajo que no requería ninguno. Como la cita del autor J.D. Vance en una memoria, nuestra generación se ganará la vida con sus mentes y no con sus manos. Entonces, luchen por una buena vida, confíen en que lo lograrán. Creo en ustedes y les deseo todo lo mejor. Felicidades, clase de 2019. Congrats, class of 2019. Send the diplomas to the class of 2019. We ask, we ask that you respect one another's desire to hear each graduate's name called. Please honor this request so that every senior may enjoy this well deserved recognition. We will begin calling the names Mr. Ed Gilbert.
Kaylee Nicole Bell. Ali Tamaya Wilshe Area. Joshua Robert Allen Love. Trinity Arista Bolden. William Travis Bonamalo. Victoria Patello. Lauren Marie Boyd. Angel Rochelle Boykin. Claire Marie Brock. Zachary Ethan Brown. Sean Ellis Bryan. Kaylin Renee Boucher. Michael Joseph Burden. Jasmine Quality Burton. Antonio Maurice Carr. Kenyon J. Carr. Yesenia Chavez Lopez. Ramon Cisneros Hernandez. David Alexander Clara. Justin Michael Collier. Maggie Lucille Connolly. Hunter Bryce Cooper. Ellis Patrick Cotton. Caitlin Rose Darling. Madison Joanne Dahl. Caitlin Brooke DeLuca. Michael Paul.
Erica Diana Alizaris. Monica Esforza Martinez. Madeline Jean Everett. Jocelyn Fernandez Leon. Alicia Danielle Eddy. Cheyenne Savannah Frazier. Megan Annabella Gans. Chase Alexander Goff.
Vladimir Perez Perez. Robert William Fodder. Jason Harlan Cravat. Graham McAuslin Richardson.